my friends, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to another Hornby review. Actually no, not Hornby, Backman review. Today we're going to be reviewing one of my favourite engines, the Backman A1 Tornado. Now I actually bought this engine off eBay for £104, so it's quite cheap. But I have to be honest, that's not the only A1 I actually own. I actually own this a1 as well that I actually bought from the Midhands Railway at a, a secret fan meetup that my fans hosted for me. But when I bought Tornado off eBay, I found out that the uh, rods were a bit too dark. So I actually do have uh, pictures here for you that I actually took both locos apart and switched their chassis and their wheelbase around. So now uh, this A1 has Tornado's wheelbase and Tornado has the other A1's wheelbase and I'll show you guys why in a second. So we're going to be viewing two A1s today so I thought you, so you guys can actually see what I've done and why I've done it. So as I said I bought this A1 from the Midhands Railway for £140 and I bought Tornado from eBay for £104 and I'm questioning why did I buy it so cheap? Why, why was it so cheap? But we'll find out in a second. But anyway, let's uh, actually, for the first time, we'll actually be unboxing two engines rather than just one engine. So I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. So let's get into the unboxing. So let's unbox the Backman Tornado first because I'm actually really excited to get this out of its box. Um, and I have to be honest that the last time I did the review on the Castle class, um, I found out that my lighting was a bit off. So hopefully uh, I will be better at my lighting skills on my camera today so hopefully it won't be too dark so sorry about that so let's anyway slip her out of her box there we go I always love the uh, how the, uh, the, the the packaging is done is is incredible I always I never liked the polystyrene because it always as I said it always makes me cringe but anyway let's get this out it looks like a block of I'm gonna quote Sam's trains here it actually does look like a block of ice like it's like frozen in time or something but let's just slide her out very carefully, lovely. So let's just put her down there and move that aside. There's so many bits to unpackage, but you can actually see the loco quite well now. Look at that. Oh, it just looks gorgeous. And I already added the uh, the details. Like if you look at the front, I added already its uh, big white headlamps at uh, the front. So that's fantastic. And I actually uh, found out that her name plate actually is um, 3D. You can actually um, add them on. So I did. But I said earlier in the video that uh, I did change the wheelbase of Tornado and the reason why is because the rods are much more brighter on this chassis and well I'll show you a quick picture of uh, Tornado in real life. This is a picture of it and you can tell by the rods they're not actually dark, they're actually very very bright, like like almost like a whitey colour, well silvery white, but these rods were a nice silvery white so I thought that would look good on this Tornado model give you a quick shot of the tender and this thing does have uh, cab details so let's get her out of this little packaging so just gently I have to put this on the floor so I don't accidentally drop it can you imagine if I just dropped it on video at least you guys can actually get a good laugh out of that so let's get her out there we go so I want to be very very careful because I'm gonna actually gonna say it because this is actually one of the nicest models I've ever owned so I'm gonna give you guys a quick shot of the face look at that well actually the proper word is, is um, I think it's smoke, the smoke box door. Smoke, yeah, I think it is. So look at that. Doesn't that just look pretty? I, ho I hope you guys can see that, and especially in this light. I'm not very good lighting with the camera, as I said before, but hopefully that, I ho hopefully you can actually see that okay. But I just said it, and I'm going to say it again. This is actually the nicest Backman model I've ever owned. It's, it's just so nice. So let's quickly have a look at the other A1 that I bought from the Midhands Railway for, weirdly, more expensive money. So hopefully we'll see why. So let's just get her out of its little packaging. There we go. So here's the A1, number 60117. Uh, I don't actually know which A1 this is. I think it did have a name, or maybe it didn't. I'm not entirely sure. Most A1s didn't really have names back in the day. But anyway, uh, you can actually see in the rods, uh, they're actually very dark, because they're not as uh, bright as uh, Tornado's. Well, actually, the rods did actually... Well, the, the chassis on that, as I said, on Tornado, actually belongs to this A1. And the this wheelbase is actually Tornado's. And I switched them around. I, was like, I keep saying that, but I'm just letting you guys know that... Um, um, you can actually see why I switched around because I want Tornado to look as beautiful and amazing as it, as, it, as it can be so that's exactly what I did and as I said I've got a few pictures here here, here, here are the pictures again of what I did I actually you know switched the chassis around very carefully of course but that still looks pretty nice it's still nice to own two A1s rather than just one A1 because <laughs> one A1 just you know just in case if like Tornado or this A1 suddenly broke and I still have an A1 to play with so that's good 
But this tender is actually different uh, compared to Tornado's because Tornado's um, top of the tender is completely flat. But uh, and plus this one has not weird rivets uh, on the tender, which makes it look like um, uh, an A2's tender. Uh, but that looks, it still looks good though, I'm still glad they actually put rivets on that, but um, as I said, I mean, Tornado is my favourite A1, obviously, but um, but that's good then, I'm, I'm actually glad that we got uh, this A1 as well, so let's put that to one side, and let's get Tornado running on the track, so you can actually see, I'll do a, like, a little um, comparison for you guys, so I'll try and hold Tornado as carefully as I can, so you guys can actually get a shot of Tornado's rods, and the A1's rod. So you can actually, if I like put them together, you can actually see how bright the rods on Tornado is compared to the other A1. It's, it's much more darker, so that's why I decided to change it. So I think we should head over to the reviewing box to, to see how well detailed Tornado actually is. So I'm actually really excited to see here a nice, against the nice whiteness, shall we? So let's head over to the reviewing box. So here she is in the reviewing box, and does she look splendid, especially in that apple green, I love it. So let's get a quick shot of the tender, looking very smart there. And I'm just so happy I finally own a Backman A1, especially a uh, lovely tornado. Let's zoom out on the camera just a little bit so you guys can actually see the full loco. But that just looks absolutely splendid. The amount of detail as well they've put into I love how Backman and Hornby do so well of adding so much detail to their engines. I'm not sure you guys will be able to see this on camera, but I've actually added uh, Tornado's uh, two headlamps on the very front. I'm pretty sure you can see that one. Pro definitely this one, but I'm not sure about the other one. But I actually have something else for Tornado. It's just like, it's like um, a crown or something, but it's actually more like a, well, it's actually a headboard. But I like to think of it as a crown, so I'm actually going to crown uh, Tornado and just pop the headboard on the top. Hopefully it will say straight. Uh, is that straight? That, uh, ooh, it's not straight, let me just straighten her up, sorry about that, there we go, how, oh, look at that, now that looks like a tornado I know, the red rose, that's the, that's the headboard that I put on, because I actually see, there's a picture of a tornado that actually wore the red rose headboard, and here, here's a picture of it, obviously. But I just think that would look that would look that looks so great. I'm just so I mean I've got loads of headboards. I mean they're actually pretty cheap as well on eBay. But um a tornado wouldn't be completed without a headboard. It's like a crown. You have to crown the A1. Let's just get a few more shots of Tornado's side wheels. Look at that. It just looks so pretty. And I will, hopefully we can get a shot of the cab as well if I try and uh, reposition the engine and the camera, of course. Amazingly, I've got a shot for the cab, but it's not a very good shot, but um, you can see the cab detail in Tornado. It does look splendid. I mean, a lot of people think that the cab detail is not, is not really worth it. It's, not, it's pointless. But to me, it really isn't. I think having cab detail, especially in a model like this, is wonderful. Well, in my opinion, Tornado looks absolutely splendid, but let's see how well she runs, shall we? I think we should. Right, to the test track we go! Right, so Tornado is on the tracks, but wait, hold on, she's actually missing something. Just put the headboard back on. There we go, have that there. Oh, that looks so good. Have fun, mate! Before we set off, we're going to test Tornado's crawler gear to see how well she runs at very slow speed. So let's give her a quick test. But is she going forwards or backwards? Right, she's going backwards. Let's see how well she goes slowly. Oh, that looks very well done. She's actually very moving very slowly and she's very quiet as well. That's why I love Backman's motors. Well, the, yeah, the, the motor in them, it's so good. And there's the other A1 behind Tornado, just slightly hiding. Give her his little hello. Let's move Tornado forward this time at very slow speed. There we go. So if you guys listen very carefully, it's actually very quiet. And she's moving at super slow speed. Look at that. It's not even breaking a sweat. Right, Tornado is ready to go. Let's put her in forward gear and see how well she runs with five magnificent coaches. So give Tornado a bit of power. And let's see how well she runs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave her running. And I hope you guys enjoy the running session. So, yeah, enjoy.
Well, my friends, I'm going to say it. Tornado is actually the best engine I've ever owned. It's a great runner. It runs at tremendous slow speed and is very quiet. Unless if it's pulling loads of carriages, of course. But anyway, I'm going to end this video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, give it a 10. I, I, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. It's good at slow speed. It's good in detail. And it's just a nice energy to have. Nice engine to have. But you guys can rate it if you want. You can say 1 for being the absolute worst loco you've ever seen. Or 10 being the best engine you've ever seen. In my opinion, I think it's a 10. But make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Turn the little bell notification on as well. So you stay notified to the channel. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. And I will see you all next time. Bye.